Hello, my dears. How are you? Are you celebrating the reading week? I hope so. And I think you are reading the stories you get from the class group. Okay, enjoy reading. Um, okay, let us uh, come back to our story. Do you remember Till, uh, the painter from Flanders? who come to the palace of Archduke of Battenberg. Don't you remember? Let us continue the story. Okay? Listen, I will read. So, we, in the last class, uh, we stopped where the commander of guards allow till to go into the palace okay let us continue our reading this is till i think you remember okay the captain knew that flemish painters and their pictures were in great demand all over europe till was presented to the archduke he saluted the Archduke three times and stood before him with his head bowed. May your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness. I have brought a picture of our lady, the virgin, in her royal robes. I have painted it specially so that I might lay it at your noble feet. Till paused a few moments for his words to sing in. Then he continued. You must forgive me, your highness, if I have dared to hope that this picture will please you. Perhaps your highness might wish to offer me the chair of your court painter who died recently. I can see the empty velvet chair waiting to be filled. Okay. The captain knew that Flemish painters and their pictures were in great demand all over the Europe. So the continent here is Europe. I think you know the name of the continent. In which continent we are in? In India we are in which continent we are in? And you know it's Asia. Okay. So this story is happening in Europe. So the captain knew that Flemish painters and their pictures were in great demand all over Europe. What is the uh, descendants mean? That is, everyone like the paintings from the Flemish painters. What do you mean by Flemish painters? Painters from Flanders. Flanders is the uh, name of a place. So Flemish painters means painters from Flanders. Okay. So their paintings are very beautiful. So everyone like their paintings. That is the meaning for that descendants. So everyone want to buy the paintings of Flemish painters. That's all. Till was presented to the Archduke. Till was presented to the Archduke. Who might have uh, taken till to the archduke who may be uh, the captain of the guards what is this and then still was presented to the archduke uh, listen here i will show you till was presented to the archduke who presented till to the archduke Maybe the captain of the guards. Listen, the captain of the guards presented Till to the Archduke. 
till was presented to the archduke listen here the captain of the guards presented till to the archduke so who is presented here or uh, who is the doer of this action here presented the captain of the guards so here the sentence is till was presented to the archduke now listen i gave a pen what is the meaning i gave this pen to my friend i gave this pen to my friend i was given a pen what is the meaning i was given a pen look there look at this pen this pen it was given by a friend to me this pen i gave to another friend and this pen i was given a pen can you understand the uh, difference of meaning i gave a pen means i gave this pen to my friend but what is the uh, meaning i was given a pen enikku pena thannu alle vera oru friend enikke pena thannu i gave a pen means njan oru pena koduthu okay can you understand the difference when a was is there the meaning is different i gave a pen i was given a pen understand the uh, difference between the meaning okay listen here i talked i was talked what is the difference of meaning can you tell me i talked means i spoke to someone i was talked means some other person a friend talked to me can you understand the difference okay let us come back to the story till was presented to the archduke he saluted the archduke three times and stood before him with his head bowed would be head bowed head bowed understand that's all he saluted the archduke three times that is the uh, ritual before a king a ruler that's all okay he saluted the archduke may your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness a long sentence isn't it then what it means may your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness it means i think my painting will please you you will be happy to see my painting that is the meaning you will be happy to see my painting listen your highness what do you mean by your highness it is the uh, what respectful word that is your highness and is there yes here also your highness what do you mean by your highness it's a respectful word to address a king that's all pardon what do you mean pardon forgive pardon means forgive for my rashness what do you mean rashness foolishness that's all the overall meaning of this sentence is what is i think you will be happy to see my painting that's all the king the archduke will be happy to see my painting that's all i have brought a picture of our lady the virgin in her royal robes i have brought a picture of our lady the virgin our lady the virgin means um, that is mother mary virgin mary not mother but virgin mary kanya mariam you know that is the virgin mary in her royal robes robe what do you mean by robes clothes robe means cloth clothes 
dress. Robes means dress. In her royal dress. Royal kingly. What in be royal? Kingly dress. So, Till had a picture with him. Listen here. Look here. Ah, here is a picture. Here is a painting with, her, with him. So, he is going to give that painting to the Archduke of Battenberg. Okay. That is why he is saying like this. I have brought a picture of our lady, the virgin, in her royal robes. I have painted it specially so that I might lay it at your noble feet. I have painted it specially, specially for you. Haven't you seen this sentence in the cards, birthday cards, new year cards, etc. Specially for you. That's all. Specially to the Archduke. So, Till has painted the picture specially to the, specially for the Archduke. Uh, let us see that picture. Do you want to see the picture of the Virgin Mary? Listen here. This is, this is the picture of Virgin Mary. Kenya Mariam and Infant Jesus. Virgin Mary and Infant Jesus. This is the picture. This is the painting. Isn't it good? So beautiful, isn't it? Okay. I have painted it specially so that I might lay it at your noble feet. Noble. What do you mean noble? Great. And the real Malala meaning is Pavitramaya. Do you know? Noble. Pavitramaya. Here great. At your great feet. Feet. No, feet. I might lay it at your noble feet. Lay. What do you mean by lay? Lay means put down something. Put something down on a place. That's all. Lay. What do you mean by lay? Put down something on a place. Mm -hmm. I will show you uh, some more words about this. Listen here. Lay. What do you mean by lay? Put something down. Put something down. Lay. Laid. Laid. Present tense. Past tense. Past parts. Participle. You know. Lay. Laid. Laid. And have you heard? Uh, this is the sentence. Please lay down your pens. Please lay down your pens. You know the meaning. Next. Lie. What do you mean by lie? Lie means lie down to rest. Lie, lay, lay. Lie, past tense, lay, past participle, lay. And meaning, a sentence, if you are tired, you can lie down for some time on this sofa. That's all. You can lie down. If you are tired, you can lie down. That's all. Okay. Next. Lie. Tell a lie. A falsehood. A wrong thing. Lie. And lie, lied, lied. Lie present tense. Lied past tense. Lie past participle. Okay, sentence. He lied about the money. Lied he he said a wrong, false thing, falsehood about the money. Okay. And here are the three words. Lay. Lie. Lie. And here is a lay. What is this lay? The past tense of lie. Can you understand? Lay, laid, laid. Lie, lied, lied. Lie, lay, lay. Can you understand the uh, meaning of these three words? Lay, lie, this lie. Okay, and there is one more word. Lying. <laughs> what do you mean by lying? Lying can be uh, the uh, ing form of this lie. Lay down or this lie. He is lying. 
don't trust don't believe he is lying he is lying on the sofa he is very tired he is taking rest can you understand that difference of meaning okay that is the difference of these three words okay so till have painted the picture picture of the virgin mary specially so that he might lay it at the noble feet of archduke till it paused a few moments for his words to sink in paused stopped paused the means stopped a few moments moments you know he uh, he, he stopped his words he became silent for a moment for what for others to listen that is then he continued you must forgive me your highness if i have dared to hope that this picture will please please you look at the sentence what is the meaning of that sentence just that i hope you like the picture that's all i hope you like the picture that is the meaning of this long sentence you must forgive me your highness if i have dared to hope that this picture will please you look at all these words till is using very highly sophisticated words highly uh, what can we say very very good words great words highly sophisticated words what is the word sophisticated modern or, or highly respectful words till is using isn't it and he know all the good words to talk with others that is the reason okay you must forgive me your highness if i have dared dared what will be dared not to afraid to say something to or to do something dhairya pidaga that is the meaning i have dared to hope that this picture will please you what do you mean by please make you happy please here means make you happy and there is another word please please give me a pen you know please and here please means make you happy perhaps your highness might wish to offer me the chair of your court painter court painter who died recently perhaps your highness might wish to offer offer what do you mean by offer uh to what can we say offer offer you you know offer me the chair of your court painter court painter court painter means the painter in the palace the oh, the very good the great painter in the country should uh, should be in the palace astana chitrakar that is court painter and what happened, happened to the court painter of the archduke of battenberg who died recently or in very recently very shortly very recently ee adutha kaalathu recently i can see the empty velvet chair waiting to be filled and there is a velvet chair have you seen the velvet chairs i will show you listen this is this is a velvet chair a blue velvet chair and this type of chairs are seen in the palace and when we go to wedding you can see this type of chairs velvet chairs have you <laughs> okay we can see <laughs> yes this is a velvet chair okay and the velvet chair is empty now empty what do, what do you mean by empty nothing on it nothing on it empty why it is empty the chair of the court painter is empty why why because the court painter had died recently waiting to be filled okay 
So what is the aim of till now? What is it? Till want to be the court painter of Archduke of Battenberg. Okay, am I correct? Till wanted to be the court painter of the Archduke of Battenberg. Okay, let us uh, read the reply of the Archduke. Listen. The Virgin's picture was a splendid painting and the Archduke made up his mind at once. He embraced and kissed him on both cheeks. He said, I shall be delighted to make you my cut painter. He directed him to the chair and made him sit on it. Well, my dear fellow, he said, you do have a tongue in your head and you certainly seem to know how to, how to use it. You are a very talkative fellow, aren't you? Okay. The Virgin's picture was a splendid painting. What do you mean by splendid? Very good, beautiful, magnificent, great. That is, that is the meaning, splendid. Say the word, splendid. Other words, magnificent. Say, magnificent. Very good, splendid. And the picture was very good. Uh, you have seen the picture. Isn't it very good? Yes, very good. Beautiful picture. And Archduke made up his mind at once. What do you mean? Made up his mind. It's a phrase silver. Made up his mind. That means decided. Made up his mind means decided. You may write it down in your notebook. Made up his mind. What do you mean by made up his mind? Decided. Archduke decided, took the decision at once. What, what do you mean by at once? Immediately, suddenly, very quick, quickly, at once. He embraced and kissed him on both cheeks. Embraced. He embraced. The Archduke embraced whom? Till. And kissed him on both cheeks. Cheeks? You know, don't you know? Cheeks. Kissed him on both cheeks. Can you uh, imagine that scene in the court? Court of Battenberg. The Archduke is embracing Till. This uh, small man. This thin small man. The Archduke is embracing. Okay. He embraced and kissed him on both cheeks. He said, I shall be delighted to make you my card painter. I shall be delighted. I am so happy. Delighted. Happy to make you my card painter. He directed him to the chair and made him sit on it. Just imagine that scene. Battenberg, the Archduke of Battenberg is uh, taking the hand of um, Till and uh, walking towards the chair and making till sit down on the velvet chair that blue velvet chair just imagine that scene okay well my dear fellow he said you do have a good a tongue in your head you do have a tongue in your head a tongue in your head head means yes uh, your brain so a tongue in your brain in your head means you have so good vocabulary. You know very good words to speak. That is the meaning. Tongue in your head. Tongue here means words. Mother tongue, you know. Is it the uh, tongue of your mother? No. It is our mother language. Madhra Bhasha. So tongue here means language. Here means vocabulary. Vocabulary. So, what do you mean by you do have a good tongue in your head? It means that you know very good words to speak. Good apt words. 
It's beautiful words, you know, that is. And you certainly seem to know how to use it. You certainly, certainly, surely seem to know how to use it. How to use those words. Where to use good words. Where to use that words, you know. Look at this sentence. You do have a tongue. You do have. You have a tongue. That is the sentence. Then why there is a do? That do is used to emphasize the sentence. Emphasize the meaning. Okay. Uh, listen here. Look at this sentence. Please remember to take an umbrella. You understand. Now look at this sentence. Please do remember to take an umbrella. Do remember. Thirchayayam orkanam. That is the meaning. Do remember. Means emphasis. He is emphasizing the idea. Okay. That is the meaning. So, where are we doing is? Yes. You do have a tongue in your head. And you certainly seem to know how to use it. You are a very talkative fellow. Aren't you? Talkative. What do you mean talkative? Talking. Um, so, so what, what can we say? Talk, talk too much. That is, talk too much. Reward samsarikya. In Malayalam, don't you know the Malayalam word for talkative? Vayadi. How many of you are talkative? All of you. Isn't it? <laughs> yes, that is good. That's a good thing. Talk too much, but in a good, in a good manner. That is. So, talking is very good. But not in the class, not when you are learning, but it is good. Talking is good. Talk, talk with others. Okay. So, you are a very talkative fellow, aren't you? Yes. Your Highness, may it please you to remember me and my donkey, Jeff, for just one more minute? May it please you to remember me and my donkey, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff is the name of uh, the donkey. For just one more minute, will you please listen to me, me and my do my donkey once more? That is the meaning. That's all. Till replied. My donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the outside. My donkey has been feeding, feeding himself. So young Kaikino, feeding. What will be feeding? Uh, I will show you a picture. Listen here. Mm, here is a picture. Here is another picture. What is this uh, girl doing? Eating. Eating something. Isn't it? And here, look, look here. The mother is giving this baby food. The baby is not eating himself. But look at this girl. He is eating herself. So, this is eating and this is feeding. Feeding means, so what do you mean by feeding? Giving food to some other, some other person. Eating means, yes, we know. So, this is the difference between feeding and eating. Can you understand? Feeding. Feeding means giving food. Um, given food from some other person. By some other person. Okay. Can you understand it? That is. Okay. Feeding and eating. Okay. My donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the roadside. Listen here. This is the grass on the roadside and the thorns on the hedge. This is the hedge. You can understand. This, are, this also is hedge and grass on the roadside. Okay. 
stones in the hedges and the grass on the roadside. But I have had nothing to eat for the past three days. I am starving. I, I didn't, didn't eat for the last three days. I am so hungry. My stomach had been complaining very loudly. Complaining very loudly. There is a sound from my uh, stomach. Because I am very hungry. There is a sound from my stomach. Perhaps your highness can even hear it now. Can you hear that sound? Tiddy is asking. My, high, my highness, your highness, my king, my lord, you can hear that sound from my stomach. I have been feeding myself with dreams. What am I eating? Dreams. What is the dream? Dream of good food and drink at your royal table. At your royal table. So I am dreaming of food from your palace. That's all. That is the meaning. The archduke smiled and said, Well, my dear fellow, you will certainly have something more solid than dreams to feel on. But uh, where is your donkey? Well, my dear fellow, you will certainly have something more solid than dreams to feel on. Solid? Katula. Solid. To feed on. Feed on means to eat here. To feed on. What do you mean to feed on? To eat. Something more solid than dreams. Dreams? Can we eat dreams? Surely no. So, uh, Archduke is uh, telling till that I will give you some food. And where is your donkey? I left him outside. Opposite the palace. I shall be most grateful if Jeff is, sorry, Jeff is looked after. I shall be most grateful, grateful, thankful. Grateful means thankful. If Jeff is looked after, Jeff, who is Jeff? Tills donkey. Jeff is looked after, or in way looked after, taken care. Looked after, taken care. He needs a little fodder and lodging at night. Said till. Fodder. What will be fodder? Uh, I will show you. Listen. This is the, these are some three donkeys and this is the fodder. Uh, a place to stand and eat some food. That is the fodder. Okay. He needs a little fodder and lodging at night, said Till. The Archduke immediately ordered the donkey to be taken care of and he added, Treat it like one of my own animals. Yes. Hey, who is there? Come on, come here and take care of Jeff, the donkey of Till and treat it as one of my own animal. Treat it. What do you mean treat? Treatment. Have you heard of treatment? Yes, we know. When we go to hospital, there is treatment. But here, treat it means adhinodu perumaranam, adhine nokkanam. Treat it. Like one of my own animals. It's a royal animal. He's the court painter now till. So, um, treat it like my own animal. Okay. Uh, today, we are stopping our reading, our class now. Up to fourth paragraph. Okay. So, read the paragraphs uh, once more. And uh, come to our class group. I will give you some questions. And you read the uh, paragraph to paragraphs. All these four paragraphs. One more. Once more. Then uh, write down that question. 
and correct answers in your notebook and send me okay see you in the uh, class group and see you in the next class till then bye bye